driveway primitive long time no see uh, today I'm showing a little contest I've gotten into with some friends of mine over at Enigmatic Electronics we're doing a zombie apocalypse weapon challenge and so we're all building some kind of a weird thing there's a rule set involved of course so I gotta be a little careful about that but uh, I've gotten a couple of them going and one of them is this uh, Swiss Army knife of uh, zombie weapons. Um, I've got these pins so that I can remove all the heads and I got several different heads going but today we're going to test the uh, flail head. Get it back in. Precision German engineering folks right here. Ah. But I'm not a metal worker so this would be a little bit of a demonstration about what somebody could just hack together with junk metal pieces they find laying around which is Sort of like what would happen in the pocky lips, right? So this is what we've got. We're gonna break some tree limbs and try to emulate uh, leg joints. I mean, leg the bones and arm bones, and see if this thing's got what it takes. All right, here goes nothing. Works pretty good on that one. And now we're gonna try just the hammer attachment. We've removed the flail from the end, and we're just gonna hit this cinder block and see what it does. Pretty good, pretty good. Smashing and bashing. There's also a distant com distance component to this competition. I think it's eight yards. Uh, so the weapon has to be able to be flung or some sort of a, a way to attack an opponent, a zombie, that's uh, eight yards away. And I've got some fancy surgical tube in order, but Right now I'm going to demonstrate a little bit about my intentions with this bungee cord that I found on the side of the road. How's that zombie apocalypse? I don't know if you can see how big this thing is. It's just a piece of hollow square stock. It's easy to drill through, hollow, and then it gives it a lot of, uh, of, of strength. Being a tube, you know, a solid piece would just be too heavy. And again, everything comes apart. Everything's like a, a Swiss Army knife. But for this particular one, I'm just going to... I'm going to take the bungee. Again, this is not the permanent solution, but I'm just going to take the bungee. The the uh, surgical tube will fit similarly on this hammerhead. And so what I've got is essentially a harpoon, and I've got some bamboo arrows with uh, it's pounded out. Uh, well, this one's a piece of barrel hoop that I found out in the woods, and this one is a spoon. So I've made some uh, heads, and we're going to go about eight yards away and try to harpoon us a piece of cardboard just see if this this thing has legs there's any merit to this idea I'll set you up so you can see it I'm giving away all my secrets to my enemies they're gonna watch this and make theirs better okay here I am about eight yards away from the target and I'll show you a few shots of me hitting it but the idea is to get a circular piece of tube and again I'm using this ratted out uh, bungee cord that I found on the road I'm just going to ram it in here and put the other piece around the head. And so I've got a uh, harpoon gun, basically. I'm going to take my arrow, which I'm going to make a heavier arrow. And for the distance challenge, I'm just going to knock it. Hopefully I'm going to have a much smoother mechanism. Okay, so there I go. Hope you can see that. And I'm going to... Ooh, there it went. There it went. Try one more time. It'll be so much easier when I get my bungee cord to load this thing. And everything breaks apart and becomes something else. That's why I, what I like about my idea. I'm really excited to see what other people think of, but you know world that you're kind of dealing with whatever you find. I love the idea. Here we go again. Ah, there we go. Two targets. I'm going, to, I'm going to turn it around on the target and shoot a couple more. So from about eight yards away, I'm going to shoot this thing. It'll be much smoother when I get my surgical tube in, I think. Here we go. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's try one more. So this would actually 
complete the challenge. I don't know if it'll be the best one for judging, but when I get my better cubing, I expect it to be a lot more effective. Here we go. Pretty good, pretty good. Hopefully that's on film. Let's look at the back here. Did it come through? Oh. So yet another component of this uh, competition is uh, we did the eight yard projectile for the challenge, uh, or my plan for it anyway. I don't have all the kinks worked out, but there's also a, a two foot challenge. So I told you this is the Swiss Army knife of uh, zombie apocalypse weapons. So I've just I've just made a little crappy piece of metal, low carbon steel, not even something I could eat treat really. And because I don't have enough pins. I gotta get to the feed store and buy some more pins. I'm just using a bolt, which is not a long-term solution. It doesn't fit great either, so I got to finagle with it a minute. Just screwing that in. Put the little bolt on just to hold it for the demonstration here. Again, I'm doing this as a this competition with the guys over at Enigmatic Electronics, so it'll be fun to see what they come up with. They're more technology guys, but the rules stipulate there's no electricity, no gas, uh, you know, no explosives, doesn't matter, anything like that, so I should get some points in that direction anyway. Now this is made with this hammer like a breaching tool. So, to stab, I'll be using a hand to press forward. It's kind of like a bayonet. Think of a bayonet on the end of one of those M1 Grands or those battle rifles, those 18-year-old boys were carrying around in World War I that weighed more than they did, pretty much. And they won, didn't they? So that's what this is designed for. So we're going to test it out on some logs here behind me. Let me set you up a little different. Here we go. Here we go. We just gotta. Yeah. So let's see how far that went in. Dad, gum it. Jeez. Okay. I don't want to lose my grip here. Uh, okay. So went at about that far. Let's try one more time. <clears throat> just above the first hole. I think it's gonna be about the same. Which consistency teaches you a lot. It's a good thing to strive for. So yeah, about the same. About to that first market. So that's pretty good. I don't have an edge on this, per se. It's just sort of rounded out. Again, it's not a great piece of metal, but... Not really meant for throwing this part of it. That's why I made the... Where I'm trying to design the harpoon function. <laughs> 